The next test we're going to perform is to look for stray current leakage from the bilge pump motor. Now, this is a fairly common problem on boats as the bilge pumps age. And you do need to have some water in the bilge to uh, make this test. And in, it's better to have a very sensitive multimeter. The particular multimeter I'm going to use is one that's currently distributed by Blue Sea Systems. It's new in their catalog. And what, one of the things I like about it is on the DC scales and the AC scales, it's got fairly high resolution for a, a relatively inexpensive meter. This meter costs about $200. Uh, it may be a little less than that, but uh, it's quite sensitive. It represents a very good value in a meter and it's going to give us the sensitivity I want because in this case I'm going to be looking for maybe fractions of a volt of leakage into the bilge water and this can have very very profound corrosion effects uh, once it does occur and it can be very hard to find so you need two components water in the bilge preferably salt water the bilge pump obviously needs to be running to see if it's leaking and the third component, of course, would be a sensitive meter. To do the test is quite simple. You need to the first thing you'll need to find is a good ground. Now, on a lot of boats, the bilge pump may be located near the engine. The engine block would make a good ground. I see these large ground wires going down to a keel bolt here. That will suffice as a ground. I'm going to use that. So I'm going to put my black meter lead on the ground. We're going to activate the bilge pump, turn it on, and I'm measuring in the water to see if I get any kind of a voltage reading. And you can see that I'm getting literally microvolts, which is nothing. So what sort of a voltage reading would you, would you get on your meter if there were a problem? I say anywhere from 1 to up to as much as 12 volts. Uh, 12 volts would be a very profound amount of leakage. 1 volt could still do some damage over time. Anytime the bilge pump is activated, there's DC battery voltage leaking into the bilge water. And don't forget, all your other underwater metal through hull fittings could be sharing that same water and this will induce DC stray current corrosion. So sensitive meter, a good ground, and use your red lead to probe through the water, gradually bringing it closer to the motor. And if you see the voltage reading increase on your meter, you've got a problem.